Uh, hello guys and welcome back again. Uh, I'm talking about aviation income database. This is a, a flight planning and monitoring subject. Topics are flight computer and point of equal time and point of safe return. The difference between both of them. Okay, here is question number 268. Nine niner and uh, it asks to calculate uh, how how many miles uh, can we fly away from our base so uh, here is uh, uh, two hours we can fly but uh, the uh, if it was if it were uh, so simple uh, we will fly in one week one hour and uh, we will return back and fly another hour and we'll be back on time but we have wind and first of all we need to uh, calculate uh, uh, ground speed out and ground speed home uh, okay let's do it with uh, flight computer installed so we have uh, a course which is uh, uh, 0, 090 0. we are flying eastbound and wind velocity is uh, uh, southeast and 20 knots and rear speed 200 knots so let's uh, try to do some uh, drawing here. Okay. Rear speed 100. So I put the middle of this uh, uh, just here on 100. Okay, here is our course, but first of all, we need to. Uh, To draw the wind wind blowing from one three zero I will uh, do some drawing for you interested Just to understand the, uh, the concept. Okay, uh, two hundred. Uh, sorry, uh, twenty. Twenty. So the wind is just here. This is ten, and here is. Oops. Sorry. Okay, I will do it in this way. Okay, this cross is our wind. So uh, let's return to our eastbound. So we are flying. Uh, uh, here is our uh, uh, field, and we are flying eastbound this way, and we have crosswind uh, from the right. So we need to calculate the uh, uh, ground speed out. Okay, uh, we see here is uh, 10 degree, uh, 10 degrees scrubbing. Here is 8 degrees scrubbing. Here is 9 degrees scrubbing. So we need uh, to uh, apply some some correction 9 degrees uh, to the right. But look, guys, as we uh, turn in right, as we change in our heading to the right, this uh, cross moves uh, further to the right so uh, I applied 9 degrees correction and now it's not correct so I we see here here was 9 degrees but it's now in front of uh, uh, 7 degrees so I put 1 degree back 7 Or maybe yes, 
this way. Uh, so our ground speed is 82. Just uh, put some notes. 82. This is our ground speed out. Uh, out. Uh, on back course, back course, we will fly here. Uh, we will fly westbound, and we had uh, uh, crosswind from the left and the bit tailwind. So uh, here is six degrees correction to the left. Six degrees but you see this cross goes to the right for one degree so we will apply another one we have uh, a correction seven degrees to the left uh, to uh, to fly in front of uh, uh, in front of wind so now we can see that uh, our uh, ground speed home uh, would be uh, 114 or 15 let's put it 14 114 knots okay 82 is uh, ground speed out and uh, 114 ground speed uh, Here it is. Okay, uh, we have uh, a ground speed uh, out and home. That is very good. Okay. Uh, uh, now let's return uh, to the uh, the question. It uh, uh, it uh, uh, we need to calculate the point of safe return. Uh, because uh, uh, we have only two hours so we need to be back two hours so uh, if we have time it's always uh, about point of safe return if we uh, have uh, it's kind of endurance you know uh, just imagine you have uh, only two uh, hours endurance and uh, fuel is enough only two hours of flying and uh, not uh, not not much so uh, you you need to uh, be back in two hours I have uh, two formulas here uh, you know the difference between point of safe return and point of equal time uh, those formulas those two concepts uh, uh, need to be understand uh, very understood very good uh, uh, but uh, the difference is if you have uh, a safe endurance here uh, you have point of safe return in the point of equal time if you have nautical miles here uh, you have uh, uh, a point of equal time in nautical miles so the answer uh, would be in uh, in measuring in time rather than nautical miles but we have answers in nautical miles so okay, I will uh, show you how to do it. Uh, I found a very good uh, uh, tool to show you. So we have two hours. Multiply uh, uh, true speed home. It is 140 knots, and divide it to. Uh, ground speed out plus ground speed home and we will have uh, uh, answer in uh, uh, measured in time okay you see here is kind of uh, uh, you see one hour and uh, nine minutes and uh, 47 uh, seconds uh, let's imagine this is a uh, one hour and uh, 10 minutes
I put it here just to be clear when it's safe for June. Yes, now it's clear, I think. So, but uh, uh, we need to know uh, the distance. The distance uh, can be calculated by multiplying uh, this time to uh, speed out. Speed out is 82 knots. So multiplying. Uh, and we hear the different, uh, the, uh, the answer. Uh, 95.4 nautical miles. Actually, mm, they are not so close, but the closest one, here it is, and let's check, and it's correct, thank you for watching guys.